in the country they have guard pigs. That's the real McCoy and he's, and he's barking at me right now. That is so cool. <laughs> Before we look at these, something really cool, uh, let's leap into the future uh, about a week uh, later. This is my back to the future thing. I'm going to make a pickup real quick. That's kind of worth my attention. It's a bunch of little teeny bobbleheads. Stay tuned. I'm sneaking into Pennsylvania from the back roads of Delaware. It's always beautiful scenery. And it kind of makes the trip wonderful. I mean, worth going. Because I like scenery and I like uh, Chester County, PA. Delaware County, PA. Beautiful areas. There's the big pickup. Huge, huge pickup. In the country, they have guard pigs. That's the real McCoy, and he's, and he's barking at me right now. That is so cool. Delaware's Millionaire Row. You'll see some of the shacks here. And, uh, very nice, very nice uh, properties. Very nice area with, uh, until you get into the rest of the state. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Some nice old shacks. Back at the shack and the porch and the table of gold thinking desperate times mean desperate measures but actually this wasn't a desperate pickup after all it was a pretty damn good one and there it is the whole bag of stinking pet shop and a whole bin last now but these things they sell look at them all ones with hair baby ones big ones they're in great shape they will sell i've got them from the little guys to the big ones there's probably over a hundred in here and that's why I went. I even got, I don't know what the hell that is, but it came too. So, maybe that's a pet shop girl. Don't know. I bet you they are. There's something to do with the pet shop. But you see them, there's all kinds in here. And then they got little bobbleheads. That one's dirty. It'll wipe off. It probably was in some kid's mail. And there's the uh, little sign that left me. The attack pig let me take it and did not take me out. So here is the vehicle for the pet shops and let's pull that out. Pet shop, biggest hotel or some bull crap like that and a vehicle. This stuff sells, laugh at me, but it does sell. That was my Sunday pickup. Uh, went into Pennsylvania and took the brand new car. Very nice ride, by the way. And now let's get back to the past. Living in the area I live in, Delaware, we're close to lots of water. Lots of water. The Delaware River. The Bohemian River. The Chesapeake Bay, not too far from here. The Atlantic Ocean and the Delaware Bay. It's all right here. And with that being so close, that means collectibles marine collectibles that is and today we are going to show you something cool that uh buddy of mine just picked out of a dumpster check this out there it is there it is that's a mercury 1957 56 mark 20 very desirable he bought these three stands but this was thrown in a dumpster. This is in great shape. The motor is frozen, but it can be used for parts. Let's see if we could shed some light on this beauty. I would say that's a pretty good pick out of a dumpster. 
I thought this was broken, but it's not. That's supposed to be there. Look at that thing. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. And it's rare. This, this is what's rare. This is the unicorn right here. So he paid 20 bucks for this motor stand. Look at that there, boat people. That's the unicorn. That's a gale, right? Yes. So when you're uh, out there in the Delaware area and you get near the beaches and the lakes and the rivers, this stuff's sitting in people's garages. And I picked this stuff out of the dumpster before, but I never got in a whole motor. This is a whole motor and a pair of legs. The legs were free and the motor was 20 bucks. So there you go. That's one hell of a pickup and that, by the way, is Glass House Greg, that's his pickup. He has a lot of outboard motors and he's got a boat underneath of there. But uh, he knows his motors and in this case, he did well. So there is a quick pick of the Mercury Mark 20 and a couple outboard motor stands, which are hard to find. And that Everard stand's pretty sweet too, so. That's today's go. marine pick. Wasn't mine, but I thought, what the hell? Let me show it because uh, one, once in a blue moon, yeah, I need some content. I need some hours. Now, once in a blue moon, I get lucky and find this crap too. So yeah. we do see it at yard sales. What did you get for that? That face plate you, you sold. Remember? Is it 40 or 50 bucks? No. 40, I think. 40, yeah. yeah. That's what I that I picked out of the trash, yeah, too. That so, with that said, that's today's pick, and I'm Harry Humstone. I say later.